guys welcome back to my youtube channel it is benny here yeah i'm really grateful to everyone supporting this channel to my returning subscribers thank you so much for stopping by once more and if you're new here welcome to the family like i'm really grateful to have you here and please don't leave this video without commenting subscribing and also like sharing my videos out because i know that there are people out there who get inspired from my videos so please help me support this channel help me grow by sharing my videos my videos are business related and i'm sure it will get you wondering did this girl study business administration in school or did she do like marketing or related course because my channel i share business tips fashion and i also do lifestyle vlogs so i'm sure you'll be wondering like what course did this girl study in school i actually graduated from the department of history and international studies university of Karaba. And I'm here to tell you things I wish I knew before studying history. This video would be helpful particularly to Nigerians. We call them Jambites. That's um, people that are looking for admission. You! This video will be helpful to you. All those people in my DM asking me how did the course go? Do you like, did you like the course? Would you advise someone to take the course? This video is for you too. Please come and watch. Watch this video. Share this video with your friends, relatives, and every other person that studied maybe arts and is looking for a discipline to major in. Sit back and enjoy this video because I'll be spilling some tea. <laughs> I got my mic today. I'll just be unboxing it because I need to use it in this video. I do not have a mic, guys. So I just got mine today and i want to test it now so this is like an unbox with me while i give you the gist first of all i want you all to know that i did not have history and international studies as my first choice no in fact i never even like pictured that i would study history and international studies but unfortunately i had it as my second choice when i was registering for jam if you asked me like what i knew about history and international studies i was blank I did not know anything about the course. I just felt like, okay, since I love government, yes, it's one of my favorite subjects in secondary school. And I used to hear that government and history are kind of like related. So that means history is sweet now. History does just teach us about our leaders, maybe all those amalgamation stuff. When I got into school, my dear, I noticed that whole different game. First class, introduction to history. We were thought that okay all of us come with this mindset that history history is like what they taught in secondary school like i said earlier that we should just drop it if that is not what we came to school to study and i'm like so how did i get here if that is not what i came to study what then is history and international studies di discipline like guys wow this is so pretty so it came with a manual which i would not read because obviously i know how to use this Oh, so now I can invite people on my channel because I've got a new mic. So I'll quickly insert this and continue my video with it. Almost everybody has this mic and I was like, I need to get one and I need it. And yeah, it was delivered to me today. Where did I get it from? China. Because in Nigeria, the price is expensive. Tested the microphone. <laughs> okay, so I am back and moment of truth. So many people ask me, why did you decide to study history and international studies? My dear, the first job I wrote did not even carry history and international studies. It carried like economics. The next one I wrote was for law. And then my second choice was um, history and international studies. I got the cutoff mark, but of course, Nigerian educational system failed me. It did not give me any course at all. The third um, jam I wrote, oh God, I was now saying, God, let, let jam people not carry me and put on their banner as their most active customer. Or I don't know, I don't even know how to put it. So yeah, when I wrote, I got like history and international studies. This is not what I want. Like, mind you, when I was applying for this course, I never knew what the course was about. I was just like, the name is very cute. I was like, when they ask me what department are you up, just be like history and international studies. But I never knew what the what the department was about. When I entered like hundred level, when school began, hmm guys had introduction to history and i had an um, international diplomacy yada yada i was like 
I thought we were just here to discuss Kwame and Kroma. I thought we were here to discuss Jomo Kenyatta. Aolo. I thought we were here to discuss Zeke of Africa, Apartheid, all those like. But Apartheid is even deep. I thought we were just here to discuss Nigerian history, amalgamation, colonization, all those indirect truths that they taught me in government. But no, that is not what we are here to discuss. Although, although, yeah, we discussed all of that in its most deepest form. I don't know if you get that point, guys. It wasn't easy. I don't know. There's no course that is easy at all. But man, if you want to study history and international studies in school, to have enough power to read. You need to like be ready because there are things to read. I'm not saying you read everything like that, but just know that what you are thinking is history. That is not what history is. I thought that history and international studies is an easy course because it is the history of Nigeria that we would be discussing. My dear, we did not only discuss about the history of Nigeria. We talked about history of africa like there was even a course history of africa in the 19th and 20th century there was even like issue of africa from earliest times to without 1800 like so many courses the only time we even did like a major course on the history of nigeria was i think in my third year if not aside that you know we're doing like general history of africa history of this history of that my dear before you apply for this course be read brain should be open you should be open because you're not going there to go and do how nigeria got flag i be who gave the name nigeria i be who brought the whole green white green color to our flag or what was the role of agui in in the first school you're not there to talk about um, how nigeria transitioned my dear i did not know if i knew maybe i would have still done it because yeah it's a sweet course. Funny how when I was even like thinking about the department, I never thought I reached the international aspect. Mm -mm. My mind was just yeah, Nigeria. Nigeria. There were electives like history of Asia. It was Middle East, history of Russia. Ha! Huh. <laughs> when I started seeing all those courses, I was like, hey God, like, can I cope? This is this, this countries they are mentioning. We only listen to them on news, and courses would actually make you want to listen to Al Jazeera news, CNN, or BBC because you would want to know what is happening in the world since the history they were teaching us. They would have just Google named because history of the world, eh? History and international studies. Well, another thing I did not know before studying history. Hell you know that we actually did some electives from other departments and while we did those electives when you're answering their questions it's just straight to the point they ask you for instance when was the first world war dash but in history department every question you attempt it must have an introduction the body of like the body of your work which carries your answer and then conclusion that's that's the format introduction body of your work and conclusion i was like who sent me who sent me another point is since it is no law we won't have like plenty textbooks to buy we'll just be reading small small or more or more hmm. we had textbooks so, to read the, this history of history of africa had a textbook no one I think like two are big africa is a big continent like the second largest how do you expect two textbooks to give you answers for everything you're looking for about africa not possible now so we had like textbooks to read actually and i like i never thought of that i never considered it i thought that we'll just be having maybe small small handouts to just glance through since when well, it's history like it's just not a, a thought is coming like it didn't even occur to me that i'm doing history the history is mother of all courses now my course is a mother course every every course has a history yeah of course so I don't even know why the thing did not occur to me that we have books to read. I'm not scaring you. You know, the department is actually very sweet. If you love the course. I'm sure my classmates watching this video, they might be actually surprised that ah, Agida can talk like this. But history and international studies actually makes you expressive. Like, you know, when they are teaching you about the history of Africa, the whole middle passage, how slaves were punished by their masters, all those just makes you kind of emotional and and it make you want to know more. It make you want to like express yourself either in the art of writing or like in the form of storytelling. 
you get it makes you very expressive and i never knew that like i never pictured that oh i'll actually be able to sit down one day and discuss about my continent with like my my colleagues or like my friends or my family members i never had that in mind i thought that i'll always be the quiet girl but fortunately i'm quiet though i'm very very quiet history is not for the week i don't even know what courses for the week because what courses are difficult if you love to know more about people if you're someone that enjoys reading if you're someone that that would love to know more about your continent love to know about like international relations generally like the funny thing is different nigerian universities have different names for these courses there's some i think there's some um universities that just study international relations they don't add like history and international relations maybe that one might actually be easier because you're not doing the history i'd be just in international relations but i don't know but my school actually had history attached to international studies the department was actually a very good one do i regret studying no but i wish at least if i knew these things i mentioned earlier to have made me to like prepare my mind but i did not know anything i was blank i don't know if you're watching so you are blank or if you are it is a good choice you made if you have already like registered in your jam don't be scared i hope i did not scare you in my video no that was not the intention it was actually a good course would i take it again if i was given a choice of course i learned a lot i learned a lot like i really learned good stuff from that department if you've watched this video up to this point what's keeping you away from subscribing to my channel what's stopping you from subscribing it's free now please be cool help me i'm just going to give you some more time subscribe like comment drop any sweet comments i know i'm a cute girl so even though you don't want to talk about history i'll talk about my beauty <laughs> do you know that if you study history and international studies it can actually like question your your beliefs at some point yes by times we attended classes and i asked myself is there god because if you hear the stories of like slave trade era it makes you to question the existence of of god because you'll be like so there, there is a god and he allowed all these things happen to africans yeah there were times like that i remember coming home to tell my mom that ah, mommy are you sure there is god because if there is god why would god allow africans to suffer like this so yeah even a class i attended once when i was doing like a, i will not call it a pre-degree program but sort of he got to, we got to that kind of point where my lecturer was teaching and he now told us please let your faith not be moved i was like okay after that program before i got admission into history and international studies so whenever they are teaching i'll just be telling myself ah benny let your faith not be moved there's god there's god so if you're entering history department just have like strong mind because you could get to points where you'll be questioning like god you'll be like ah god you were there when they were killing slaves i actually enjoyed filming this video i don't know whether it's the fact that my mic arrived earlier or that i am happy uh, telling you guys about the departments i graduated from how exciting it was i feel like if if history is taught in secondary schools and primary schools it will actually help people know better so that when you come to the university you're not blank when you come to the university it's more like you have a solid foundation and you're just here to like add small stuff on top of your foundation to become a better person in life but when they don't teach history at all in primary no secondary schools it becomes very difficult for people to just cope like that thank you for watching my video i'm really grateful you stayed up to this point please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel bye